This is the Pizza Party Ardore. Made in Florence, Italy, this beauty ships with a 1.2 inch thick biscotto clay floor and a beautiful blue flame. Sideburners seem to be all the rage lately, so I am incredibly excited to try this one out. I had no issues with the packaging, even with it coming across the ocean. The oven body is protected in a plastic wrap, and the clay stones are strapped underneath. Inside, we'll find the manual and propane regulator. Their perforated peels are incredibly light, but also strong enough to hold the weight of the pizza no problem. I really like these. But just a heads up, they have to be purchased separately. Before installing the legs, I recommend pulling a bit of the film from the bottom to get it out of the way. If you don't, some of it can get stuck beneath the metal of the legs. Between the Florence Italy cutout and the unique dome color, it makes for a pretty awesome looking oven. This is the antique copper, but it also comes in full stainless or a few other unique colors. My first impression is, you can tell this has a lot more insulation in it compared to other ovens at this price range. It's very compact weighing 40 pounds, and the cooking space is very roomy. A bit over 15 inches, but I'd only bake up to a 14-inch pizza. Lighting is a bit more hands-on. Make sure to start your lighter before turning the gas dial to prevent a bad day. For the gas dial on the back, just line up the large flame icon with the black rivet. I want to talk about the stone choices for a minute. Mine came with the biscotto, but they also offer a refractory stone, or the option to buy both. If you live in a colder climate, or plan to use it in the winter, I definitely recommend getting both. I noticed the Biscotto is amazing on warmer days, but in freezing temps, the refractory stone is a lot easier to get up to temp. You can still do it, but it takes at least 45 minutes to hit 900 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's time this first bake. I prepared a 65% hydration dough and launched when the center stone read 923. I love the clean burning blue flame on this. It's hard to see, but the flames reach pretty high on the dome ceiling. By the way, if anyone makes the jump for one of these ovens, Pizza Party gave me a discount code for 10% off. That brings the price down lower than the Karu 16 or Volt, which is pretty sweet. But we'll talk more about that in a minute. If you found the review helpful, feel free to use the affiliate link in the description below. So far, we're seeing a lot of leoparding on the crust. The burner is on high the whole time right now, but I'm thinking it's too powerful for how the bottom is cooking. Alright, this bake took exactly 60 seconds. The top is beautiful, but the bottom needed more time. Their website says this oven will reach over 1000 degrees, but I find it tough to get the biscotto much higher than 900. Again, this could be because I'm testing midwinter. At first, I thought this was concerning, but I found out that it cooks great at this temp. You just need to lower the flame. I like to turn the gas dial back to halfway right before launching to prevent the top from cooking too fast. Check out this pizza. A crunchy exterior, an airy center, one of my favorite Neapolitans in recent memory. And this is what Biscotto Stones offer, a cooked base without overscorching. Overall, I really like the build quality of this oven, but what I really love? The price. You're getting a lot here for the same cost as a Karu 16. An authentic Biscotto stone, handmade in Naples, a well-insulated dome with ample room to maneuver pizzas, and a really nice side burner. It's less versatile, but this is designed specifically for Neapolitan. I honestly think this is like a bigger, better rock box, and that should tell you everything you need to know.